Uh, I'm getting bitten to death by these blooming ants, so it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, I have to keep on moving because they're attacking me. I think I'm, I'm standing on their home. So we have landed in New Zealand and uh, we actually landed yesterday in Auckland. Uh, so we had a, a bit of a wander around and dinner in Auckland last night and we're now on the road north and we're currently at Matakana, which is a little stop off place, which has got this lovely little river running through it. Uh, a couple of places to try. They've got their own coffee roasters. You can see behind me, lots of little places we can stop off and have some, some food. Coffee roasters, they've got a chocolate place, lots of places to really kind of explore. Don't have that much time because, as I said, we're on the road north. Um, as you can see, the sun is still extremely bright, so no photographs will be taken until this evening. Uh, so it's more just of a just sampling the delicacies of the drive north. It's very exciting. So I hope you can hear me over the crashing waves. I'm currently just taking a, a long exposure of uh, Maniac Mountain. So you're currently staying in a little place. It's just, just around there. So I've had a wee walk along the, the shorefront and I found this very nice kind of composition. A couple of rocks are going into the water that's currently high tide at the moment. So a few rocks are going into the water that are covered and splashed. So I've got the long exposure going on and that's the leading line that takes you straight up to the, the mountain itself which is, it's, you know, volcanic. Um, so this is an old volcano kind of basin and that's uh, the solidified lava flow, which is, it, it looks incredible. It's not the best of lights. It's kind of, it's kind of dusk. There's an awful lot of cloud cover, so it's quite dull. Hence why the long exposure with the kind of interest in the foreground, the rocks, as you can see, with that in the backdrop, just the actual shape and um, you know the clouds are actually quite nice there's quite a lot of movement there's, there's quite a bit of wind way behind the, the mountain itself so that's making these nice streaky lights um and the clouds without the requirement of a, 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 a long exposure doing that found this composition it's pretty nice it's got very uh, crashing waves going on and we've also got a bit of nice foliage in the, the foreground so focus stacking long exposure i've got the big stopper on there the lee big stopper uh, i've also got a grad filter as well because the sky is very very bright um but yeah it's it's looking good i've, I've taken quite a few variations of it opening it up and maybe darkening it down so just uh just having a nice nice dynamic range to work with and again as i said the focus stacking as well uh, I'm getting bitten to death by these blooming ants, so it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, I have to keep on moving because they're attacking me. I think I'm, I'm standing on their home because there's thousands and thousands of them. That was definitely a worthwhile stop off. It was great. Uh, nice big crashing waves, uh, lovely kind of clarity right through the coastline with the, the rocks and a bit of uh, a bit of green foliage as a foreground, some kind of nice palmy uh, kind of grasses. Um, yeah, it was just a kind of, uh, literally just pulled in as you can see beside our car there. Uh, we just stopped off, we were at a beach prior to that, um, having a wee nice uh, pre-dinner walk along the beach and on the way there I actually spotted that um, rocky cove with the waves coming through and the, the tides coming in, so it's 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 proper crashing. It's great. Uh, so some long exposures. Also took um, a couple of non-long exposures, normal, uh, quick quick exposures, um, just because the waves were, were were pretty incredible. Just to get a bit of action there, might be able to kind of bring that in a wee bit in the long exposures, just to get a bit of detail. Uh, never done that before. Don't know if it work, but I just thought. Since the, since the waves are pretty huge, I might as well try that. Um, so yeah, back to the car, head back for some dinner. And uh, we are leaving the North Island of New Zealand tomorrow and heading down to the South Island to explore more places. So 
very excited for that, can't wait.